What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. And today I want to talk about one of the new dungeons, Castle Thorn, that is coming out with the new DLC in the upcoming weeks. Of course, Update 27 will be coming out at that same time. But the devs over at Zenimax have released some of the information on their website about this. Of course, some of this stuff is what they talked about in kind of the preview of this a few days or a few, about a week ago, I guess, on Twitch when they had kind of the reveal for Update 27. But I'm going to link the article down in the description if you guys would like to read over it. But this is a very neat sounding dungeon. I think both of these dungeons in the preview were very cool looking. It says Castle Thorn is the home of the reclusive Lady Thorn. Uh, she has quietly been building an army for years in the, in the anticipation of the events for Greymoor. And now you're finally going to understand what she's been doing once you're there. Uh, once again, the local populace from the surrounding regions have begun to disappear and all signs point to Lady Thorn's great fortress. However, as this threat emerges, so does the willing to stand in its way, including the House of Ravenwatch. Ravenwatch is a vampire house from Ravenspire that has dedicated itself to undoing the evils of vampirism in the world. They are vampires themselves, but they believe humans and vampires can coexist. The whole idea is, of course, you're going to attack this castle and fight an undead army, which is just absolutely an epic idea, in my opinion, for a dungeon in the Elder Scrolls. But I think the whole idea, just in general, of kind of this dark, creepy-looking dungeon is just a really neat take on, uh, on some things that, you know, they have to do year in and year out. They're having to make dungeons. I'm sure that gets to be kind of hectic and kind of, uh, monotonous there at Zenimax, you know, having to do these things year in, year out because they've put so much DLC and so much time into the game. I think the whole idea of this whole undead army and you're kind of helping out, uh, you know, with this uh, vampiric group that's, that wants humans and, and vampires to live together, I think that's just a really cool take and a really cool spin on an idea for a dungeon. It says, as you battle your way through the castle gates, you and your allies must face a dark army like anything else in Tamriel. Of course, during this, you'll be able to find many secrets, including old treasures from before the Second Age. As you storm the Citadel's defense, you can claim these riches for yourself, including three new, three unique gear sets, a new monster mask, collectibles, and achievements. In addition to the regular de uh, to the regular gear, if you defeat the final boss on veteran difficulty, you'll also loot the Lady Thorn monster mask, which can be very powerful if you use abilities that cost health to activate. The Lady Thorn Mask is an exceptional set for damaging and weakening your foes while providing a synergy for that you or your party can use. Finally, Castle Thorn's rewards also include the new Thrall skin, giving your vampire or undead monstrosity its own fearsome look. Of course, you know, you're going to have new titles, a new home furnishings, and a die that will also be included in this. And of course, depending on what difficulty you play on, like every other dungeon and every other trial in game, the greater the reward. So, you know, the harder the difficulty, the better the reward will be. Like I said, guys, this is just one of the new dungeons coming to the game with Update 27. And I think this is going to be, uh, from the looks of it, two of the best dungeons we've had in a while. I think Stone Thorn as a whole is starting to look really good. Uh, like I said, I was really excited when they announced these two dungeons just from the kind of, you know, from the clips and the thumb, from the kind of preview we got of these dungeons. They were just really neat looking, and I think a lot of time and effort went into them. And I, I just really have enjoyed Greymore just in general. I think these, this whole chapter has been pretty unique and, and different compared to some of the other things we've got over the last few years, which have been a little more bright and vibrant, just a little bit more dark and kind of sinister, I guess, is the whole theme. But anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts about this new dungeon. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you don't know all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. If you'd like to check out my Twitter, uh, you're more than welcome to check that out down in the description along with the Discord for the community here on YouTube. You're more than welcome to join that as well. And be sure to look at GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. And they sell pretty much anything you can imagine for your gaming needs. And their information is also down in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.